Hey, I'm Judy. I'm Jenna. And this is Snack That. Mm-hmm. Um, we're finally doing it. Oh, I can't wait. It, everyone wants it. We want it. We want it. It's a Japanese Kit Kat day. Yes! Now listen, there are an absolutely insane amount of Japanese Kit Kat flavors. Uh, mm-hmm. Like mind-boggling. So many. Yeah. And being in the United States, they are hard to find. Yeah, not, not so easy to find. And a little cost prohibitive. Pretty expensive. So we yeah. have six, which I actually think is pretty good. I agree. And I think we found some very interesting flavors. Mm, we sure did. And one that seems very obvious, but... Sure, yeah. Like, I don't know why it doesn't exist in America, and I'm very excited to try it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't care where we start. Because um, they're all kind of weird. They're all... Yeah. Let's start with the... Sure. This guy, probably one of the more mild flavors if I'm taking a guess. Yeah. So we have strawberry cheesecake. The bags are so pretty and they have such a nice feel. I don't want to rip like into them. they rice papery almost. Mm-hmm. They really do feel nice. Well, that one actually says strawberry cheesecake in English on it, which um, it does. a lot of them don't have any English on them. <laughs> I just sit there with Google Ooh, Translate that's in about. the store to uh, figure, out what. figure out what I was getting. <laughs> I also like, like, their mini size is, like, we've discussed this before. It's odd. It is odd. Um, it makes me eat them like a monster. I'm going to break this in half, though. Clearly white chocolate. Yeah. White, whoa, that is a strong smell. Oh. Does it look a little pink on the inside to you? Or are oh, no. my eyes I playing tricks tell. on me? It, it's hard to tell. Maybe, like, I can see the wafer in it, but I can't really tell what color it is. Yeah. But it smells strawberry. It does. It's really mild. Mm-hmm. It's nice, though. I honestly don't know if I can tell the difference between this and, like, a strawberry Kit Kat, which I've had. I will it's say very there's, similar. like, maybe because of the like, supposed cheesecake flavor, a bit of a tanginess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, um, a little, little tangy. Very creamy. Very creamy. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. We had those strawberry champagne ones, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and we did not like those. No, those had a weird thing those happening. Those had a weird thing happening. This is so I was a little for, worried that it might be something to do with like strawberry They're flavor. strawberry. Mm-hmm. These are really good though. These are very good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this one is. I'm so intrigued. I know. So it's ume plum. Mm. Plum. Plum. Ume plum. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just plum, but Robert did Google ume u m e mm. in the car. Um, I was going to say I did research, but that would be a lie. <laughs> and it's, it is a specific type of Japanese plum. Okay. It's like also known as Japanese plum. But in Japan, apparently, it is like usually eaten or snacked on salted. Oh. So I don't know if we're just getting like plum and it's just like Japanese plum or if we're getting like salted, salted plum. plum. Oh. Um, so I'm really excited to try it. Yeah. Once again, the cutest bag has Adorable. These little flowers on it. I'm oh my for... god, the packaging is really cute too. Oh. Yeah. Also has like a little plum and little uh, watercolor flowers. Very sweet. So cute. This green. Oh yeah. Can I open mine? It's a really pretty color green. It's very springy. Oh my god. What is going on with this wrapper? <laughs> this is you my... made it. Oh, wow. But, okay, that smell? It smells so good. I've never smelled anything quite like this. No, it, it is reminiscent of something that I can't put my finger on. Oh, it smells so good. It it's smells so really unique. really sweet and yeah. like really fruity. Mm-hmm. Mm. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Why is this so good? It tastes like plum. Yeah. For real. But a plum... A plum I've obviously never had, and it is very unique. It's a little tart, uh-huh. like, a, mm-hmm. like a sour apple mm-hmm. flavoring almost. A whiff, yeah. Oh my god. That's wild. Mm. I can't tell if it's salted. No, because it has that like tartness, and mm-hmm. I can't tell if there's like a saltiness in there. If, if this is how like ume plums, salted plums taste, or... I do think I remember... Robert reading wow. that because they're slightly the it, like that variety of plum is slightly more sour, which is why it's eaten salted. So I yeah, you get that sour tanginess. I'm definitely getting sour. It's like a yeah. sour plum. 
Oh, Imagine like sour good. apple, but sour plum. Yeah. It basically. is so good. It's very good. If someone described that to me, I'd be like, I probably don't want to try it. No. But I'd regret it. Worth a shot. So good. Wow. So another fruity one. Passion fruit. I, I mean, yeah. can't wait. Have I ever had a passion, real passion fruit? I don't even know. Oh. I don't think I have. I don't think I've I only had passion fruit flavored things. Do your best. Okay. Where, where oh, does, no. what? Mine's in. Oh, it's on your front. Oh, yeah. Do we need to dig? Are, right, there, so are there other encouraging uh, mottos? Do we need to get Google we Translate? We need Google on Translate. This? You got the only. Do oh, your yeah. best. There's another do your okay. best. But there's clearly. There's different, different messages. messages. I'm dying to know what the other ones say. I can't wait to find out. We're going to find out later. We'll keep you posted. Yeah. Oh! This color, too! Oh, pretty! It's like a creamsicle orange. It really is. Oh, shit. Wow. That smells. It smells really good. Of passion fruit. It smells so exotic. <laughs> it truly does. <laughs> Very tropical. Mmm. It's actually like a really mild flavor. Mm hmm. It's like really mild. Mmm. Huh. It's good, though. It's very fragrant. Mm hmm. Like a little perfume. Yeah. Perfumey. I think that's safe to say. Mmm. There's like a sensation of tartness, but it doesn't taste overtly tart. Mm hmm. Mmm, -mm. mm, really interesting. It's, really it's not overly sweet because of that tart. Yeah, this is tartness. Like maybe one of the least Balanced. sweet like fruit flavored candies I've ever had before. That was really good. Mm, really, really good. Different. Yeah. Kind of indescribable. A little bit. Yeah. I'm excited for this one because we tried the ma regular matcha. Which is In our matcha tier. episode. And mm. it was, yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. This is toasted matcha. So, yeah. I'm expecting. What's it going to do? Um, or hojicha, whatever that means. Tea. Toasted tea? Toasted tea. Um, so I'm expecting it tastes like the matcha, but like maybe like earthier. Yeah. Or yeah, like a sort of earthier or smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. The most boring of all the packaging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yours is kind of oh, cute. Oh, I got you little. Have, I don't have. There's little, little people. On mine. mine just says break. Break. Oh. This color. Oh. This color. Oh. Judy, the smell. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know about that. It, that is so interesting. That is really interesting. Ooh. Okay. It gets better. But like mm. that is it's deeply toasty. earthy. It's really earthy. It almost smells like coffee. Yeah, it does. It smells like a coffee candle. Yeah. It is a super toasted, toasty smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the color is a little unfortunate, but. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. It's like the matcha, but not quite as sweet. Yeah, but like toned down in a yeah. way. It is. I mean, Ooh. you know, we've said it like three times, but earthy yeah it's really good yeah it's like the matcha but like a little caramely mm -hmm. a little sweeter what's that tea that has the puffed rice in it tea with puffed rice in it's it it's like a green tea okay i know i should know this is it gonna make me so mad that i don't know it so it's like a green tea and it has like little puffed rice in it and the rice, the puffed rice give the tea like this sort of like really like sort of brandy flavor almost. Why have I never had this? No, no, it's really good. It sounds That's good. That's what this tastes like. Okay. Yeah. But like a little sweet. I like that a lot. It's really good. Yeah. This is a more complex matcha Kit Kat. It's a very sure. sophisticated Kit Kat. Or toast. <laughs> Um, that was really, really good. That yeah. was as good as I was expecting it to be, for sure. Absolutely. I, I, I don't know how to explain how excited I am for this, given the fact that it is just apple. Well, it's but, apple and chocolate. It's clearly like, unlike some of the other ones we've had, or all the other ones, like white chocolate on the outside. Yeah. This looks like it's chocolate. Coated in chocolate, traditional classic chocolate, but with apple. Yeah. What? Because we had the apple pie one, and that was white chocolate. Yes, that was white chocolate, and that was an American seasonal one. Right. And it was good. It was <clears throat> fine. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. The thing about the apple pie one is it had, like, apple pie spices. It had, like, cinnamon and other stuff in it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this because I think this is just apple. Like, crisp apple juice oh. kind of taste is what I'm hoping for. Yeah. 
It is definitely just chocolate. Yay! Ooh, it smells like that is a f an appley apple. It, fresh and then it juice. Makes you think of Bath and Body Works. Oh my God. Okay, now that you've said it, I but can't not in a bad way. It. No. All right. Mm. All right. And if you're sitting there wondering to yourself, does apple juice go with chocolate? In a way? Yeah, kind of. It's a little weird. It is a little bit of a strange combo. It smells apple-ier than it tastes. It truly does. Because I think the chocolate just kind of... I think the chocolate is a little Takes strong. over a little bit. But it's definitely there. Yeah. Like... It's like a Kit Kat with a fruity... Yeah. Fruity twist. A sort of floral... It's almost like floral. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Different than I was expecting, but good. Me too. Yep. Yeah. All right, last. Mm. Um, I'm excited for it. I know you have controversial feelings about banana-flavored things. I do. But it's banana caramel, Woo! which is like banana fosters, and who doesn't love banana fosters? Um, I'm really excited for this. I think this is actually maybe, if it's not one of the newer flavors, then it maybe is like new to being like... Uh, shipped to the U.S. Yeah. Because it just suddenly like was all over the place one day. Mm -hmm. I will say for someone who doesn't like banana flavored things, what this has going for it for me is that it is also classic chocolate. That's true. And I love a chocolate covered banana. Yeah. Big fan of those. Yeah. Good so point. this could be right up my alley. Yeah. This is the only other one that has just regular chocolate on the outside. Smell, I actually don't smell banana at all. I mostly I smell, smell the caramel. Yeah. Caramel and chocolate. You're right. I taste the banana, but it's, it's deep in there. It's very subtle. Mm hmm It's not like, and it's not a super fake banana flavor. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily a super real banana flavor, but it's not like. No, it's not like your classic. Yeah. Banana flavoring. Mm, I mm. like it. Yeah. I feel like I can taste, like, feel the caramel. Mm, like, yeah. Like the chocolate's like a little chewier or something. Creamy in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I just said that. <laughs> this is very subtle. It's very, very subtle. I honestly was kind of hoping for a little bit more of a kick in the mouth mm -hmm. with the banana flavor. Yeah. Um, but it is good. Yeah. This is it's not so banana y that I would wouldn't hesitate to grab this at any moment. Right. You know, like I wouldn't have to be like in the mood. It's just like, meh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Chocolate. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Wow. Yeah, wow. We have some choices to make. I mean, no losers. Definitely favorites, but oh, yeah. they were all good. Top two? Okay. We could try. You think you can do it? I that think we can. I think we can do it. Um, My heart instantly says toasted green tea. Yes. Yeah, I have to agree. It's yeah. just so if you love a matcha Kit Kat, Ooh. do yourself a favor, try these. Yeah. They're or if like, you're like a big tea fan. Like if you're a yeah. tea person, oh, yeah. I think you would really like these. Mm hmm Because it kind of steps away from that like grassy I don't find matcha very grassy, but some yeah. people do. It kind of steps away from that. And it in really a more goes into like a caramely, darker, yeah. warm. Caramely is a really good warm. way to describe it. So <clears throat> where I'm torn now is I really enjoyed the two yeah. really fruity. Yeah, me too. The fruity plum, ones. The plum and the passion fruit. Yeah. I know, me too. That They're is... both like so fresh and fruity and different. Yeah. I will say, I think the plum flavor was stronger than the passion fruit flavor. Mm -hmm. These, however, were a little bit more like tart mm -hmm. than the passion fruit. Yeah, they had a more sour yeah. um, balancing out their fruitiness. This one had a, a ting of tartness. But... Little tiny baby. I, I'm tempted to say those just because it was so unique and so yeah. new to me, but it, this also really those tastes are really good. I know. My, I'm kind of leaning towards these, which actually Support says a it. lot since I don't like tart, like I tend not yeah, to flavor you tart don't, flavors, mm -hmm. but the plum flavor was like so good. It was eye opening. It really was. Yeah. It was a fun experience. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to share the rest of it. I mean, if you want, <laughs> if you want to have a truly new experience, the plum. Yeah. Yeah. 
right, but they were all good. They were all good. The really the strawberry cheesecake, I surprisingly really into it. Yeah. I don't normally love cheesecake flavored things. No, but it was. was I good. think it just like added like a creaminess and a mm-hmm. little bit of like a tang. Yeah. But the strawberry flavor was nice. The strawberry flavor was really good, especially compared to the champagne ones. Absolutely, yeah. That one does it right where that one failed. Yes. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, tough choice. I but I do think I need these two. I, I endorse this. With passion it. fruit as a very tight. Honorable third. mention. Yeah. yeah. And we know there's a billion more Japanese Kit Kat flavors. Can't wait to try them. Can't wait to try them all. Someday we'll get one of those stupid expensive barrel aged whiskey ones. It's like twenty dollars for one Kit Kat stick. I really want to try the Sakura Blossom oh. one too. We actually did try to find it for this. Um, yeah. It was just out of our grasp, but yeah. One day. Someday. Um, all right. Well, like, subscribe, 